What's up guys, this is Matt from America Patriot News and today I have some great news from Arizona. This has to do with the Kerry Lake election lawsuit and this is an article from Just News. Kerry Lake's 2022 election case to be heard on expedited timetable. The original court date was set for March, but the judges agreed to hear uh, Lake's case on February 1st. This is great news, they expedited by a month. And I also have a clip of Carrie Lake uh, giving some more information about what's going on with this court case. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Well, I think the, the new information that came out earlier this week where they, they're taking the case on the merits. This isn't just a, you know, they didn't have to take the case. They could have said, you know, we're actually not going to take the case. And they said, actually, we looked at it. We're taking the case. And so Tuesday, the defense has to file their brief. And then we have until the 24th to file our rebuttal, I guess you could say. And then the three panel uh, judge uh, panel will take a look at it and make a decision. We are still going to push to get this into to the Arizona Supreme Court. It's going to end up there ultimately. We'd like to see it go there sooner rather than later. Well, guys, that's kind of an explanation of what a special action petition is. Uh, it's where both uh, prosecution and defense, they do not go into court the same day. They go on separate days. They give their briefs to the court. The court looks at it. They look at all the evidence. Then they make their decision by February 1st. And is this good or bad for Carrie Lake? I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if it really matters because no matter what decision they make, it's going to go to the Arizona Supreme Court. And then they're going to have to make a decision. And at that point, I don't know if it matters there either because it'll probably go to the United States Supreme Court. But uh, I see this as good news. It's expediting this case faster because if they had to wait till March, I mean, people would have forgotten all about this and they would have been more worried about uh, recalling Hobbs at that point. But, uh, guys, I also have another clip of Carrie Lake, and let's just say in this clip, it's showing why she needs to be the governor of Arizona. Check it out. Common sense policy. That's what America First policies are. We have a wide open border. It's causing a drug problem. It's causing a crime problem. It's causing destabilization. It's causing a housing crisis. It's causing Americans to not be able to get jobs. And so we solve it by securing the border. This is basic stuff. And the political elite will never do it because they are in on that open border. They want an open border. They're in on that structure of the cartels controlling things. And uh, they don't want it secured. And I want a, a message to the grassroots in Arizona and really all over the country. As they're trying to take back control, I'm talking about the rhinos, trying to take back control from we the people, the, uh, the little guy, the real average American. American who has taken control of the Republican Party, thankfully and rightfully so, they're trying to take it back and they're trying to cause chaos at these meetings so that the grassroots Republicans, the America First Republicans will throw their hands up and just walk out and say, we're done. We're not going to take part in this. That's what they want. Do not walk out of these meetings. Stay put. Hold your ground. They want us not to vote again. We can't let them have that. They want us going back, putting our head in the sand and falling back asleep and not reclaiming our country. We're not going to let them have that. We will not let them have that victory.